Mace and Richard Tonkin of the Australis Oscar 5 team from many, many years ago. 50 in fact. 50 in fact, 50 yes, in fact, yes. counting. Yes, 50 in fact. Yeah. We withered the years well. You have, yes. You indeed. have certainly, yes. <laughs> We're still married to the same wives. Yes. Same and, amount of the book. And, um, uh, and one of the things that's come out of this for me, getting serious for a moment, is how our wives supported us in ways, and I certainly never realised, um, until I wrote the book, to be perfectly honest. In just quite, sometimes in just quite... quite oh, yes, absolutely. ...unobtrusive way. Absolutely, yes. absolutely yeah, right, yeah. yes. So, yes. thank you, Pauline. Thank you, Delia. <laughs> so the book uh, came out of uh, an idea, didn't it? Or a discussion that you had with Alice Gorman in Adelaide? Uh, no, no, that's probably where it originally came from, but the first thing I knew about was Hillary, um, or might have been uh, Alice, rang me up and said come to a meeting in, um, in the city and she suggested, or, and Hillary suggested, how about writing a book? And I said, oh, 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 oh. I've never done this before. Not only in how about writing a book, but how about writing a book in, what was it, two months, was it? Oh, well, that came later, <laughs> after it inveigled me into, into writing it. Then we discovered that there were six weeks to write yeah, it, right, yeah. and then it was four weeks. So, um, you know, he's, he, Hillary is a damn good con merchant, I think that's what we have to well, say. What, once someone got going, you couldn't stop it. <laughs> well, we, we were nerds um, who were just fascinated with satellites, absolutely fascinating with satellites from the very first one, Sputnik 1. We were, we were both at boarding school, Owen mm. in Geelong and I was in Melbourne, and on the same night, uh, you know, when there's 100 kilometres apart, yeah. we were taken by our schoolmasters uh, outside and told to look up into the, into the sky and we'd see Sputnik, and we did, and uh, I think uh, we were teenagers in boarding school <coughs> with nothing to... Uh, to um, uh, uh, Amuse them. Expend, them, them <coughs> expend our boundless uh, energy yes. on. So this was something that we just grabbed onto. It was fascinating. It was the start of a whole new, whole new era of history. University. We discovered this uh, Melbourne University uh, Astronautical Society, and they were a, a group equally interested. So in satellites and space and so on. So uh, that was fantastic. We joined the the, the uh, society. Richard, a couple of years before me. When I joined, they were doing fairly boring things like showing old NASA films about uh, astronauts, and uh, and the group that I was in thought we better uh, stir things up a bit, and so we built a satellite tracking area on the roof of uh, mm. this building. On the roof of this building. This very building, yeah. And uh, without permission, we didn't actually ask anybody, did we? Oh, I probably not. It was just permission. what you did in those Nobody days. Nobody stopped us. Uh, no, 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 no. Why would? That? 1966. Some some idiot said, uh, "Let's build a satellite," because we were tracking them and getting weather pictures and so on. So we thought that was a good idea. I only thought it was him, and I thought it was me, so we've agreed to see we, some idiot did it. Yes, some idiot. Well, that's probably fair, I would say. So we did, and uh, so by, by um, the, what, mid-67, it was ready to deliver, and uh, so we uh, fortunately got uh, three tickets to take it to the US, uh, and did so, and just a wonderful uh, trip incredible hospitality by the Project Oscar group who were going to, uh, at that stage, we thought, were going to launch it. Uh, the reality was that uh, they didn't, they couldn't, and it sat in the garage for a couple of years until some people at, uh, at NASA Goddard in, in the East Coast picked it up, and particularly Jan King, a very junior engineer at that stage, and he carried it through and it was finally launched on, and I always forget the exact date, January the... 23rd, 1970 at uh, 5 o'clock in the morning on the east, on the west coast of the States. I mean, not before some troubles. Uh, oh, yeah. Jan picked a weather satellite launch. Uh, he thought it would uh, fit in the bottom of the, of the rocket. So he went to the, to, the, uh, to the presentation to the Weather Bureau in the States. And after the presentation, the head weather bureau bloke came over and said, uh, Jim, nice presentation. I've got three things to say to you. No, hell no, and never. And that put him back on his heels a bit, but uh, then he went to... Uh, through his boss to NASA's administrator in uh, Washington, and they, 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 he thought it was a oh. great idea, and uh, the weather bureau relented, so we were right. And then even up to the end, up to the launch, 
the previous four launches, two of them had failed, so we had a 50% statistically <laughs> chance of ending up in the, in the Western Pacific Ocean. So a lot of things went right for us, and it was flew, uh, launched on 23rd of January, and it flew and was successful for some six, uh, six weeks or so, and, uh, and then the batteries went flat, and there she remains for 100,000 years, give or take a few. The book describes uh, the whole journey of uh, Australis and how it uh, interacted with our lives, not just the two of us, but, but others as well, and how it changed our lives, if for no other reason than uh, we met our wives uh, through the project, through each other and yeah. through the project. And Owen, uh, Owen puts it in context of what was happening in the 1960s, the Vietnam War, he was called up, his marble came out and he almost got sent off, uh, and what was, uh, what was going on in, uh, in Melbourne, the social changes that were yes, happening. Yes, yeah, which, uh, quite remarkable social, technological and regulatory changes that have occurred since and uh, would make a very, very different project if you attempted it today. It'd make a great movie. <laughs> uh, and and, and uh, it's not just a technical uh, oh, no. uh, treatise, it's, uh, it's uh, interesting, it's a good read.